Hello again, my name is David Watts from Lenovo Press and I have with me today Harsh Banwait. Harsh is the Worldwide SMB Product Manager. How are you doing Harsh? I'm doing good, how are you? Very good. So today we're going to be talking about the Think System ST50. This is our new single socket mm -hmm. tower system aimed at the entry market, right? That's correct. So this is the first server that a small to medium business would have for basic file and print functionalities or a new site data backup, or even some remote offices. So this is a very flexible system, depending on if you want it as your first system or if you want something of a higher config. Uh, mm -hmm. We offer a variety of configurations for anybody who wants from a small customer to kind of some a little bit more sophisticated as well. Yeah, so not just a desktop system. Nope. This is server-grade system. That's correct. Yep. We, it has enterprise-level capabilities that we'll talk about in a little bit. Uh, yep. But yeah, this is something that uh, somebody who wants their first system uh, would I really appreciate it. Server. Yeah, very good. So David, as I mentioned, this is a follow-on to the TS-150, which was one of the most popular tower servers in the market, not mm. just for Lenovo, but in the market. And what we've done is kept the same form factor, but made it even quieter. So the TS-150 in its richest configuration was about 23 decibels. This has been brought down to 19 decibels, which puts it in the kind of ballpark of a recording studio. Right. And when you're in a small office space, you don't want this thing to be big and loud. Yep. You want it to be unobtrusive. You want it to be kind of conspicuous in a corner that just helps you get your work done. So in this video, we're going to go through the front of the components, front of the system, the back, and we'll look inside as well. Yep. All right. So All right. at the front, um, it's a fairly simple system. Um, one media bay for an optical drive. Yeah, optical yeah. drive, tape drive, anything. Some of our customers really appreciate having that functionality if they've got disks that they'd like to use or burn onto this. Mm -hmm. uh, we give them the, the option. But if you just want to have an HDD in there, we offer a conversion kit that you can use right. to have it as a fourth drive bay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, tape as well, right? So That's correct. Um, local backup, for example, you, 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 you know, backups are always important. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to uh, have to deal with uh, the, the expense or the effort of backing up to the cloud, you can have a, a local backup uh, facility as, in, instead. Yep. Uh, two USB ports. Uh, these are USB 3.1. 3 1. 1. 1. Right, yeah, so they're so 5 gig, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, two of those. And over here, uh, power button and um, uh, power control there. A That's fairly good. straightforward system. Um, now let's spin around and have a look at the back. Now, uh, two power supply options. This yes. one has the... Uh, 250 watts. Right, And 250. then it also comes up with a 400 watts uh, power supply in case you're using graphic intense applications and have a GPU in right. there. Right, yes, this system supports GPUs. We'll, mm -hmm. we'll talk about that in a moment, yep. So this is a fixed power supply, uh, standard serial port, um, two display port connections That's um, for the onboard video. These are 4K video uh, ports, mm -hmm. um, so high definition there. Um, and three, sorry, four USB ports. Yes, two of them are again USB 3.1 Gen 1, mm -hmm. and then two of them are USB 2.0. Yep, and then and a standard Ethernet port as well, gigabit that's Ethernet. Correct. One yep. gigabit Ethernet. Yep. And then three PCIe slots. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, you see, there's four four connectors there, but it's in the top three are the ones that, that are the, the, uh, the slots. The bottom slot cover is, is just a blank. Um, that's correct. Uh, versatile system with with three slots. That's great. So while we're back here, I also want to talk about a little bit about the security features of yes. the system because, as we mentioned, this system might be placed in a retail environment where there's a lot of high traffic or it's placed under a desk uh, and you just want this system to be secure because it has a lot of your files. Uh, right. And then it, we've uh, have a lot of uh, kind of software as well as hardware features on this that make the system secure. While we're back here, the first thing I want to talk about is this cable lock slot where you can actually just have a, a traditional cable, something like your uh, bike chain, where it bolts it down to either a desk uh, leg mm -hmm. or kind of a near wall. Mm -hmm. You can bolt it down. There's a padlock, which just prevents the side from being open, which prevents the system from being open. But uh, we'll look inside. Even if the system is opened, anytime the system gets open, you have the option to get an uh, uh, the intrusion, intrusion kit, yeah, yeah, the intrusion kit, which logs every time a system uh, is open, every time the site is open, it lets you know. Even if the system is off, it, it lets you know that, uh, you know, the system was tampered with, and then you know that if it was expected or if it was something that you want to look into. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I failed to mention the um, audio port. Uh, That's correct. It works with Windows 10. Right. Yes. Uh, just as an aside, yeah. Okay. So those are the components of the um, of the back. Let's tip, tip it on side and. Um, Open it up. It's uh, easy to open uh, with two thumb, thumb screws. 
No tools correct. needed? Yeah, so again, this is targeted at that SMB customer who might not have a dedicated uh, team uh, of ID professionals or might not even have all the tools that they need to operate a system. Yeah. So uh, we want to make it as easy as possible for them to kind of work around the system. Yeah. But let's so look let, inside. Let's look at the, the, the drive configuration. You mentioned that the server supports up to four hard drives. That's correct. So let's look at those. So there's one, two, three dedicated hard drive bays. That's correct. Um, the media bay at the top here a variety of combinations. You can it's supported. You can have just a traditional DVD optical mm -hmm. drive, DVD ROM or DVD read write, mm -hmm. um, as you wish. Or the server also supports a uh, combination slimline optical drive and hard drive bay. That's correct. And these hard drive bays, they are not just HDDs. You can have 2.5 inch S SSDs as well for some of your hot data, depending right. on if you're looking at data storage for the long term or if you're looking at easy access data. And then this is kind of a pre-production model, but the production model also comes out along with uh, a blue tray right, yeah, so that lets you slide out the right, drives yes. easily. Each, each of the drives will have a, a blue plastic frame around it that, you will make, that makes it very easy to, to pop the drives out That's without having to fiddle with screws and all of that. So mm -hmm. it's easy to, to access the, uh, these, these drives. And, yeah. and while we're at storage, I also want to talk about this SD card module that we have, have over here. here. Just, just here, yep. Uh, because sometimes our customers want this to load up light OS systems like a hypervisor, and then yes. they want this option where they want to keep the drives for storage and want something on the side to uh, load, load up the operating system. Right. So we have that option as right. well. Now, in addition, more options again. Okay. Um, if you, uh, the, the standard configuration is uh, say, using the onboard SATA ports to drive the drives, mm -hmm. um, but you can also use a RAID card. If you wanted more advanced Absolutely. RAID, perhaps you want um, a RAID adapter with, with some cache to do more efficient, more advanced RAID 5, for example, mm -hmm. across four drives um, with a hot spare, That's then correct. we support RAID adapters to do that. Um, and if the adapter you picked includes uh, ba um, cache, a, a, a power module for the uh, cache as a, as a backup mechanism, that cache module would, um, would go here. It's a power module, call a super cap, because yeah. it's actually a super capacitor, not a battery, yep. but effectively functions like that. And that means that even if the system loses power in the mm -hmm. middle of a write operation, the, the uh, power module will ensure that the write is completed. completed. It's, it's the, the super cap will um, store, re re retain power to the adapter mm -hmm. so that once um, power is restored to the system, then those write operations can be completed to the drives. So yeah. this is another example of uh, enterprise level uh, functionality, even in, a, in an entry system. Absolutely. And speaking of enterprise level functionality, I also want to highlight the uh, memory DIMMs that we have over here. So this system supports up to four DDR4, 26, mm -hmm. 66 megahertz yep. Yep. memory DIMMs. And these are ECC memory DIMMs. So they are, again, enterprise level memory DIMMs that right. uh, provide memory protection as well. Yeah. So for example, if you had the 16 gig DIMMs, then this server would, would have up to 64 gig of memory. Absolutely. So quite a powerful system there. Yep. Now, of course, processors, mm -hmm. um, this system supports the new Intel Xeon E2100 mm -hmm. series processors, right? Yeah, up to six cores and uh, 95 watts. Mm -hmm. So it's, again, it you can have it as a base configuration or you can scale up to an enterprise level system, mm -hmm. whatever you want. These are the processors formerly known as Coffee Lake. And mm -hmm. the server also supports the other Coffee Lake processors, the um, i5, sorry, mm -hmm. Core i3, That's the Pentium, and the Celeron uh, processors That's in that, that same family. So a variety of processor options um, based on the workload that you need. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now, the, the server also has uh, three PCIe slots, as we mentioned. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a by 16 this is a by one, and this one's a by four with a by sixteen physical connector. Absolutely. So it's yes. a variety of connections there. Um, the the server supports um, Ethernet adapters, so yes. uh, t one gig or ten gig. Mm -hmm. uh, it supports um, uh, external RAID, mm -hmm. uh, external SAS adapters, and GPUs. Right. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. So this for light graphic intense uh, work, you can have. For example, uh, an NVIDIA P620 GPU right. in here, yep. and then you can have the higher power supply option as well. So depending on your workload, as you mentioned, this kind of is a base system, but depending on your workload, you can scale up or down as you need. Yep. All right. Um, the, the, I'll point out just a few other things. The, uh, there's the SATA ports that we mentioned earlier for uh, the drives uh, mm -hmm. and the uh, optical drive. Um, there are, is also a USB there for um, the RDX tape drive. Yep. It's a USB attached. And there's other power connections and so on. Uh, but that's basically the, the system, I think, right? 
Yes, that's that pretty much all covered. Um, yeah. So if you're looking for more information about this system, uh, we do have a product guide which will go into all the technical details about every part of the system, uh, pictures and so on. Um, so the, I'll put the link for that in the description for the video, so you can check that out. And then you can also visit our executive briefing center, which is right. what we're, we're in shooting, right now. We're shooting this video in the, in the yeah. briefing center, yep. Yeah, and this is just one of three. So we've got, this is Morrisville, North Carolina, uh, in our US headquarters. Mm -hmm. We've also got one in Stuttgart, right. Germany, as well as one in Beijing, China. So in case you're a customer or your partner that just wants to showcase our systems, talk to the engineers about uh, how these are built, what are the options, what are the workloads, anything that you want to talk to us about, uh, please feel free to visit. We're always here to welcome yeah. you. Um, customers, please contact your Lenovo rep and arrange the visit and come and talk to the engineers that are here. Yeah, Absolutely. excellent. All right, so there you have it. Harsh, thanks very much. Thank you for having me. Hope you found the video useful and we'll see you later. Bye.